In this lesson, I want to explain spline uh, rail deformer in a deformer common menu. For example, we start with cube, we draw a, a spline in the direction of Z and the X axis, and deform the object with that spline. Definitely, you have to increase your segments of objects in a high value to deform well. Okay, 100 is enough. Turn the graph shading line. And now we're holding shift and click on a spline rail to assign to the object. Two things happen. The axis will be uh, going in the same place and it will be child of the object. As I said before, all of the purple are and the deformer color has to be object. Uh, sorry, <laughs> has to be child of the, that parent object in the settings we have four spline to uh we have to specify that this is the z axis spline left or right or x axis first most important is z axis you have to draw a line in this direction so going to the top menu and uh, draw a line align the z axis after that the, draw a two spline align the X axis. So we select a spline pen. Be sure that you have activated create new spline to create new splines. For example, let's draw X spline here. That's enough. And draw a spline here. That's enough. When you activate the common, it will be expand to those spline. You can see. We have to naming them, going to the model mode, this is the right and this is the left spline. Going to the settings, click and drag to the Z right and left. And as you can see, very beautiful, your object expand to those spline. And it's interesting that you can modify that very easily. For example, go into the move tool and you can move it very easily. And now you can define the X axis going this X axis as the line to define the top and bottom of the object. Click, draw uh, the intersection, the position. It's not important, just the direction is important. And you have to create a separate. Okay, that's enough, and you can define it. Going to the model mode, uh, this is a button, 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 no, bottom, but, and this is the top. Select the spline, click and drag to the bottom, and to the top. And as we can see, it's defined in that way. Interesting. Okay, uh, we have a reference here. You can uh, insert a null object there. Going, bring it up. I explain what is a null object. Going to sitting, for example, make it a cube. Make it a bigger, and you can uh, specify that null, null as a reference. And going there, and you can, for example, rotate it to change the direction of the object like this. Okay, this is a reference for ex uh, explaining modes and size of all of those sitting. I want to clear the top and the bottom. You can select the uh, uh, spline rail and change the position of that, and you can make <coughs> this effect. This effect because we have unlimited. Is this effect we go unlimited effect to the object limited? It's act like this. You can just limit to the spline, and you can go behind like this, and going within box. It means if the box hit the object, it will be created like this. And you can change the size of your deformer. 
and here when you are in an unlimited scale before and instead and will be activated it means that before uh, before the former affect the object and as you can see go to the spline and after that you can scale it down or positive or negative number you can uh, create this effect okay this is a spline real easy and simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release